It was a cold, crisp morning at the busy yard of Trainer Mouse Morris, the venue for the launch of the 2017 Randox Health Aintree Grand National, a race that was won so famously last April by Rule the World, trained by Mouse Morris and ridden to victory by David Mullins. I would have thought that in view of what he achieved over hurdles, he was becoming possibly a little frustrating. He was placed in an Irish national, he was placed in a Kerry national, he was fifth in a Thais days. Yeah, but, you know, had he not had his injuries, he probably could have been a Gold Cup horse, you know. He was certainly the best horse I ever had before. He fractured his pelvis. So, I mean, he had oodles of ability, you know. And that was proven the year before when he was he was chased home the new one at Cheltenham. He was grade two winner over hurdles as well. Would it be safe to assume that he didn't probably achieve his maximum despite the fact that he won an entry over fences? Oh, no. I mean, you know, had he not had the injuries, as I say, he could have been a Gold Cup horse. So, I suppose technically a Gold Cup horse in with 10... Seven or ten, twelve, you know. And David had ridden the horse before he I think he was placed in Ferry Hills in the National, he was placed in the Kerry National and so he knew him. But for a young guy to go over there to ride the horse in his first national, um there was some performance by horse and jockey. Yeah, but you probably find the older he gets, the wiser he gets, you know, so it's probably just as well to be young. And where did you watch the race? I watched it there just under the big screen. So I think I nearly killed everybody around me. So. But it made for great television, but I suppose it was all the emotion and the, and, the, and the history leading up to the race, the fact that you had won the Irish National. You must have been pinching yourself that the fact that you could win two nationals in the space of a couple of weeks and a race that you probably always wanted to win as a jockey and to win it as a trainer, would you get a better kick out of training a national winner than you would have ridden one? I'm not sure because obviously I didn't ride one, but the training one nearly gave me a heart attack, so we still haven't really probably realised that we, we have done the two, you know in the one year but we dream away now. And Michael and Eddie O'Leary they've been very important to your yard they've invested a lot of money into the game goes without saying that if you win a national like that the reaction from the people around including the trainer and the jockey his reaction afterwards was, was a real indicator that he loves the game and, and this is what it was all about for him. Well I think it shows that he's human after all you know I think there was very ne- nearly a tear in his eye anyway, with, with the kids there and everything you know. And when the, the horse came back you was braided through Mullingar and I think you were quite surprised with the amount of people who turned up the, the following afternoon yeah it was un- unbelievable and he came down to feather there and the worst evening that you ever can imagine and in feathers and in Mulgar, the crowds were fantastic you know unbelievable for jockey david mullins it was some introduction to the iconic race a win at your very first attempt yeah it's um something you'd always like to do as a child and you'd always watch it and you'd never even really dare to think that you would be riding in it or even win it so it was great to do it talk me through the race i presume you've looked at it several times before i think he just made one semblance of a mistake when it looked as if he may have come down he looked to me as if he gave an exhibition of jumping foot perfect throughout the race yeah um everything was going to plan he hit the fourth last the good belt and and uh, I landed up on his neck a bit, but he got away with it and he was straight back on the braille. And the reaction afterwards when you pass the post, is it a case of I've done it or is it all a haze at that stage? Uh, it's, all a, it's all a haze. It's it's like a dream in two senses. One is you, you can't believe it and the other is that you don't remember bits of it. So there's parts of it I don't remember still. I don't remember what I was thinking in some parts of it. And when you came back in, was your mum and dad in the in the winner's enclosure afterwards? Mum was straight up to me afterwards and yeah, she was nearly crying and my younger brother was as well. So an emotional day as well. And to ride a winner for Mouse there was such a, an outpouring of goodwill towards him considering the year that he had last year on a personal level I suppose that made the success all the more special for you because he you know, he rang you and he wants you to ride the horse Yeah um, definitely it was a tough year on Mouse and outside of the racing scene but he had a great year he had someone looking down on him he tells me and um, he obviously did he won three nationals he had a great year and it was special to do it for him The new sponsors of the Aintree National are Randox Health a company with headquarters in Crumlin County Antrim Eamon Lenehan and Stuart Penrose are excited about their company's first venture into racing sponsorship. Stuart, first of all, in terms of getting involved in racing, you couldn't have picked a better race. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, obviously, the Grand National itself is an absolutely massive race in the UK and worldwide and as a business, we're a global entity, but we're not really well known in the consumer world, so we, we, we literally couldn't have picked a better vehicle. We're extremely happy. We were actually talking about this yesterday. It's one of those events that actually transcends the sport. Everybody knows about the Grand National. From We were talking from we were kids, I would always have been involved and sweepstakes with the family and I think what really resonated with us it's a, it's known as the people's race it's a very accessible um, and as Stuart rightly says it's a it's a it's a huge event and that that is exposed to you know the, the, the viewing figures for this year were 11 million in the UK 600 million people worldwide so in terms of getting our
our brand out to the consumer, you couldn't really pick a bigger, bigger, more exciting asset. Aintree Managing Director John Baker says that the race could not have had a better winner last season. You couldn't have written the script better. As we say, there's lots of great scripts around the Grand National, but in 2016, just with everything that happened, as you say, a terrific racing guy. He's a brilliant, brilliant trainer. Close association with the race and to pull it off with a horse that had never won over fences before. Just incredible training achievement. Just a brilliant story and hopefully um, hopefully can rewrite some more history next year. The 2017 Randox Health Aintree National takes place on Saturday the 8th of April and Mouse Morris will certainly be back for more. And if you were to pinch yourself, you've won a Gold Cup, you've won an Irish National, a Kerry National, an Aintree National. You've done all really that you've probably wanted to achieve as a trainer. It probably doesn't get any better to win an Aintree National. Um, no, but I'd like to 